latem zaczęła rządzić jesień. To... But today we have decided to start a journalist episode. Hopefully we can tell you something new and you will like it. Uciec pociągiem od jesieni. Uciec pociągiem od jesieni. Recently streetcar has experienced a period of revival in North America. Presumably there was a period of classical history and a period of decay. Well, our today's short story is about those two periods. Streetcars have rich and yet dramatic history in North America. First trolleys in North American cities are started to appear in the middle of 19th century but they were horse driven by the end of 19th century streetcars were electrified but streetcars boomed in uh, beginning of 20th century when streetcars connected downtown core to suburbs that's how many north american cities grew it's very well illustrated in several of Dreyther's novels but at the beginning of 1930s, Great Depression happened and many private streetcar companies bankrupt. But the final nail in the coffin of streetcar's popularity was struck by after World War II economical boom. North American family wanted to have a car and a house. Many cities introduced buses to replace streetcars. By 1960s, streetcars were gone from cities like Chicago, Detroit, Los Angeles, Ottawa, Montreal. Right now streetcars could be found in the museums or on the streets of several North American cities where streetcars are still popular and that is hope for this romantic transportation mode. To my previous comment about Streetcars Museum, this place, Halton County Radial Railway, is a perfect place to see the history of streetcars in Ontario and in North America. And if you like traveling alone or with family, this is a place that needs to be seen mandatory. Come here, visit it. Starting from end of 50s, beginning of 60s, streetcars were replaced by trolley buses, but their history was even shorter and sadder. On the streets of North American cities, trolley buses lasted until the end of 80s, beginning of 90s, and then disappeared forever. Well, that is it for this episode about streetcar history in North America. But I think that this episode is about people and they were not even in the camera. People who not only 
preserved and restored a piece of history but they put life into that history for us and if not for those people for those enthusiast volunteers then our understanding of our history and our place in the history would turn into dust